Today is Monday, the 16th of December. I'm at Fish and Shore Beach. Morning people, just thought I'd show you my daily routine before I go fishing, um, always got to start off the day with big espresso, uh, whipped cream, if you haven't tried it, try it, it goes out a treat, but I thought I'd just show you what sort of stuff I put inside my fishing box, um, sort of overpack quite a lot, uh, just show you. In here, it's just a chopping board, a couple of threads in nice. I keep it in the case because um, I'm using it to block the wind out on the um, little camping stove, which I'm also keeping in there. Well, so I've got a couple of fixables. I've been trying to find a new way of. Um, Putting away all my rigs and stuff, I just stole in a plastic tub and it's got some zip bags. I just literally chuck all my rigs in here. It's a bit overkill, but it holds a lot of rigs in there and they sand it quite nicely. Put a foil as well to make a lid when I'm cooking any food. Got a flask. And then what else have I got? It's just no, another little rig box. It's got a lot of hooks in there. Anything else is hiding in there? Some cheapy scales. Got any battery in them? Nope. Need to put a new battery in there. Good thing I shut that. Not that either. Catch any big fish. What's in there? It's another wheel. Yeah, it's my multiplier wheel. Ooh, a bit hard to do one handed. That's why a little slosh there. Don't really use it too much. It's not, I don't know if I really use the multiplier much, and then I thought a couple of years ago, I thought I'd give it a go. And. Yeah, uh, it's alright on calm days, I'm still not, you know, 100% there with the Carson. I can still get a good distance, but I just, I prefer fixed balls to be honest, so quite straightforward. Um, I've got a plant pot there, <laughs> just chuck all my weights and stuff in there, bait elastic, just easy to grab stuff. My little tub, little first aid kit, some backup torches, little bag. You never know when you're in your bag. You can also sort in there. A couple of rags. <laughs> never have enough rags. Another little rig box there. Just for the beads and swivels and stuff like that. Just handy to take with you. I know some people don't bother taking them out, just take a load of pre made reed, uh, rigs. But me personally, I like having all my bits with me just in case I want to modify anything. And yeah, that's about it. A bit messy. This is my sort of man room in here. Needs decorating, new carpet and everything. But I've got my waders hanging up here. Got my boots, coat, flotation suit. All my rods and stuff here. Quite messy. Here, my fork in here. Uh, yeah, tripod, shelter, pretty much everything. The plan is to do this room up eventually. I uh, want to get a nice computer desk here. Got some old, sc old school library window there, so I want to get a projector up here. Have a nice TV here. Yeah, computer and stuff here. Still got my bike in there, I'm bother putting that back in the shed. Quite lazy. 
And yeah, this is eventually going to be my room. Got my little pond there. Needs tidying up a bit, all overgrown with weeds. But that's the plan anyway. But yeah, the plan is today. I'm going to try and get out um, probably about half past 11 or so and fish for a few hours, three, four hours. Weather isn't too great out there. It's rainy, but the wind's gone. <coughs> So that's the plan anyway. Um probably head down Shoreham Way. Haven't been out for literally three three weeks or so. The weather's in that pants. And yeah, I've got really bad withdrawal symptoms. Got a cold as well, but hey I <laughs> uh losing my voice already, you can tell. But yeah, the plan is to get down probably Shoreham Beach again in the, about half past eleven, so it's a couple hours time. And yeah, we're fishing there. So I'll see you at the beach. See you soon guys. Right guys, down Shoreham Beach now. Doesn't look too pleasant over in the distance, but good news, got my shuttle with me. Sticking to my word, bring it out with me more. So, yep, hopefully I won't get too wet. Just notice there's a massive bit of wood floating right in front of me there. I'm hoping I'm gonna be all right. You can see how far the tide lines go up or weed and cuttlefish shells and all sorts around here but there's a bit of a lip just here but I don't know you can see where the waves have been coming up you can see sort of just over here and stuff and the follows all around here so hopefully I'll be alright let's let me show up here if not I can always move back up to the fraction there um, just throw some baits again today, mackerel, squid. So yeah, just just out to fish really. I've been out for about three weeks and I just needed to get out, uh, back to work again tomorrow. So yeah, trying to sneak in a fishing trip before I go back to work. Right guys, just setting up the first rod. Got a frozen mackerel on that one. A one up, one down egg, size two hooks. And look who's just turned up. It's Mr. Netta, and I bet he lays a net right where I'm going to cast out. Can you believe it? Still got that massive, it almost looks like a sleeper floating in the water close in there, so I've got to watch out for that. But yeah, this one I'm just going to whack it out as high as I can, and hopefully this guy here doesn't lay any nets. Yeah, keep going, bye bye, keep going. Lucky he hasn't laid anything in front of me. One thing I have noticed about this beach though, um, if you get any rough weather, but the second it goes calm, we get big rollers coming in. And I think if I'm gonna get wet today, it'd be from a freak roller wave. Every now and again, just get a big one, it comes zooming up the beach. And it's normally, if you get a double one close behind it, that's when you're in for a good soaking. But yeah, that one, a bit of current already, pulling to the right. So that's a good sign. Normally there's fish in the current. Sun's starting to come out and that horrible weather looks like it's going towards Brighton. So looks looks like I might be alright after all. But let's set up the other rod. Let's we'll see if we can find a fish. Well, I'll just show you. Quickly just saw him laying net there. And you can just set a flag there. And that is by the start, start of wide water. So yeah, he's going that way, so no nets in front of me yet. Not seeing you anyway. But just setting up my second rod here. You know, I said earlier I probably carry too much spare parts of me and all my components and stuff. This is why, look at the state of that hook. I mean, the rest of the egg's completely fine. But I can just replace the hook on that. Um, instead of tying up a whole new rig, I've got a hook there I can just swap over, so that's why I like carrying all my spare parts for me. Okay, second rod here. Just using a big long pulley. Got a whole squid there. All clipped up. So I'm just going to whack that one out, just to my right there. Don't know if you can see the size of this wave coming up. It doesn't do it any justice on camera, but it's huge. You might be able to see it over there. But it's one of the big rollers that's coming in. 
I mean, if you get two of these close, like close together coming in, that's when you're gonna get wet. Notice a few little rattles on my left hand rod already. Not too sure, it's just the waves, maybe a whiten. But I'll take that on in a minute after I cast this one out. Guys, we're not flanking today. First whiting, about a foot long. But whilst I was checking that whiting out, just had a massive stack line though, the second I cast this out. The hook's been pulled through. That was one really bad elastic up. So I'm gonna get this one back out there quickly and see what we can find and attack this. Guys, my right hand rod there has gone under tension. It was just slack a second ago. And the reel just did a few little clicks. So the left hand rod keeps getting clicked by the wave and maybe a white in on there already. But I don't know, I'm just leaving that right hand rod just to develop to see how I get a bigger bite. It did go slack and that's gone tight again. I and mean, then there's a few clicks on the reel as well. So I'm just gonna let that go and see if anything develops. Be interesting. Ooh, just had a couple of clicks again. So something's playing with it, I think. Go keep an eye on this. I'll come back to you in a second. Yeah, there's still no news in that rod on the right hand rod there. Very strange. Just gotta let it develop if anything's happening. I'll let you know. But just bake just bake my sandwich. And then I thought it was the juice I meant picking up yesterday, but then it maybe remember to ask you guys something. Yesterday I picked up a seven and a half pound salmon, two pounds fifty from uh, from Asda. I've never cooked whole salmon before, so I was wondering if any of you guys got any tips how's the best way to cook it. Um, normally I just like buy little fillets and stuff and cook that up separately. But I've never done a whole salmon, so if any of you guys got a recipe, uh, let me know and I'll cook that up soon. But I'm just gonna eat my sandwich and then check my rods again. My left hand rod keeps on bouncing around nicely, so I'm gonna take that one and have a look. Looks like some bad weather's heading this way, guys, but I'm sure there's a fish on there. Let's check it out. Another white in there, similar size to the last one. Let's get unhooked and we'll chuck him back. Got to give him a bit of a chuck. Swell's quite big. Try not to drop the phone. Nothing, guys. Right, it's time to take my right hand rod. See what was the damage of that squid. There's been a few little rattles, so I don't know why it's not been having a go. But yeah, some strange bites earlier. Um, the swell is getting quite big and rattly now, so it's knocking the rods quite a bit. But I'm going to take in my right hand rod and see if there's anything there. Big bake still intact, so I'm going to chuck that back out again. Same place as last time. Let's see if we can find whatever it was playing with it earlier. Just had a few good knocks on the left hand rod there, the orange tip. Getting a few little rattles on the right hand rod as well. But I don't think we're going to get anything in camera now. Oh, the slack line there. I'll right, quickly take that one in. Another white in there, probably the biggest of today. Probably about first centimetres to say. But let's get one hooked. Nice big fat one, this one. Feels like I've got a bit of weight to it as well. Let's check this one back. Nice big swell coming up. Off he goes. Just checked my right hand rod, which had the whole squid on it. Um, it hadn't been pulled off, but the body was still there, so I've just cast that back out. Got a bit more bait elastic. 
The swell's still pretty big, as you can see there. It's yet to come over the bank, but I'm sure it won't be long until it comes over this little bank here. Um, just eating my pickled onion grits. Really into these at the moment. Tastes so awesome. All that flavour of me. Uh, what's everyone's favourite flavour, Chris? Um, me, I love pickled onion, but I also like all the um, chili heat waves and all the Doritos and stuff like that. I call them strong flavours, it's all that flavour of me. Um, yeah, apart from those wires in, it's a bit quiet, but it's almost a fish chuck, so it's all good for me. It beats working, doesn't it? Double shot that time. Little and large, greedy little things as they are. But at this time of year, that's why I always use frozen and baits. Because you're always going to find wires in. There's no point of spending a lot of time digging worms or buying worms. It's so much cheaper just to buy one mackerel. Uh, or use frozen and mackerel. And I literally just use the same bit of mackerel over and over again. Um, just bait elastic on over and over again, add to it. And one mackerel sees me out for a whole session. Um, yeah, cheap, cheap as chips if you catch them over the summer and freeze them down and it still catches you fish uh, flatfish still eat them, dogfish anything really, bass take mackerel so just good all round bait for me quite an oily scent to them so that's why they work so well in the sea here but let's get these ones unhooked and we're we'll chucking back how technology has changed eh guys it's weird, I'm actually on my phone on YouTube watching Smash Fishing doing his live chat at the same time as whilst fishing, whilst f recording a YouTube video. Quite weird. <laughs> but yeah, if you've got the technology, you might as well use it, eh? Still no more fish, but it seems to be like I'm getting a, uh, a fish cast, so it probably won't be long until I get another whiting. Be nice to see a couple of dogfish turn up, or any other species really, just to mix it up a bit. It's just turned high tide, so um, yeah, the tide's going to start dropping away now. Still that annoying swell, but I'll keep you informed of catching more fish. Just lost another white in my left hand rod there when I was taking it in. Came off in the swell, still quite swelly besides those waves. So it gets sucked underneath there and it gets pulled off every now and again. But that's just fishing around here. Decided to stick on a whole mackerel head next to the leftover that squid. We weren't really munched up by. Um, the white in, so yeah, I've got to stick the mac head on a bit more hard wearing. And I'm just gonna whack that one out to the right and leave it out there for the last hour of my fishing. The bites are slacking right off now, the tide's starting to drop away a bit as well. I'm starting to get a tiny bit of weed in the water, just pulled my line right down closer, just coming up the line and just pulling them down. Those tiny bits of fog patches appearing as well towards the arm. So, yeah, a bit odd. I'm <laughs> gonna take my right hand rod in there because the line is pulling right to the right there and coming close. That's one of the big baits. Um, I imagine it's just been pulled out by the waves. Another white in again, only a small one. So it's pulled my line down again, that bit of weed. Literally, I've only just cast that out about a minute ago. So it's just random little floaty bits now. I guess it's all these. That's come up from the high wall, so I've gone back out again. But let's go chuck this one back. Let's go a little up. Enough that one, guys. Right, guys, I'm on my last cast now for both my rods. Um, looks like it might stop raining soon, so I'm gonna pack away my shutter because there's nothing worse than packing away wet swimming gear. Um, let's see if we can find another white or something for the last cast. My left hand rod there keeps them bouncing away nicely. So I expect that's another white in. So I think I'll go take that one in. Um, then pack it up and call it a day because that rain is definitely coming this way. Keep them the odd spit. Taking my shelter down. So let's quickly see what this fish is. Another double shot guys. That one's a really nice size. Quite a fat fin. 
That one's quite a bit smaller. But yeah, it's probably one of the biggest ones of today. Nicely hooked there. We'll get these ones checked back and then we'll take on the big bait. Then you can see it's going a bit foggy over there. There you go, focus. Yeah, then as you can see, it's going a bit foggy over there. But I think that's all the moisture in the air. But that doesn't look too pleasant out there. It's coming this way. I'm starting to get the odd spits and stuff on my coat, so let's quickly pack away. There's pin teeth there. That's why I shred your bait up. Like right, little needles. Let's see what's been eating. Not too sure. What that is down there, but yeah, quite a good size one. That one, let's check them back once as well. Found this one waiting, Ooh, sinking in the stones there. I don't want to stand on that. I thought one of the guys. And that's what the big bait looks like. Look at that. Then that's like a conga bite. Another bit of a one there by the hook. That's gone all the way through both sides, I think. So I don't know. Do you reckon that's a conga? Might have been what gave me that slack line bite earlier. But I think that's me really done now, guys. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, push that bell sign as well, because then you get a notification every time I upload. And I think YouTube's been a bit funny recently, you're not showing all the notifications. I'm back to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, I've got Friday off, and then I'm off for almost two weeks. So, yeah, don't go back until the second. So I've got a nice time off over Christmas to get out a couple of trips, hopefully. Um, just recently bought another car as well, so... Me and my partner have both got a car each again, so it should free up some more fishing time for me now. So hopefully I'll get out a bit more in the new year. So yeah, like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.